Are these all the peanuts? The that's, nuts? Yeah, that was all that was in the bowl. Yeah, that's like ten times too many. Oh. Follow the recipe, Candace. Can you do it? <laughs> okay, I it can do it. It says chopped. Okay. They're, not chopped. They're whole pecans. Are you This year I will be hosting Thanksgiving for 11 people, both family and friends, in my Manhattan apartment. I will also assume all cooking responsibilities. This is the story of exactly how I will get it done. First, the menu. Shrimp cocktail. Fruit and cheese plate. Cocktail weenies. Spinach salad. Steamed broccoli mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, apple stuffing, roasted turkey, gravy, apple pie, apple crumb pie, biscuits, cookies, ice cream, and macaroni and cheese. You see, our mom wasn't much of a cook and our house is always dirty, so holiday get-togethers were always a bust. This year I volunteered. It was going to be different. From the menu, a shopping list was prepared. with an extensive ingredient redundancy guide to ensure the proper amount of ingredients were purchased. All the menu items connected to their respective ingredients. My son Owen and I did the first leg of grocery shopping in Connecticut. Grocery stores outside of New York City are far more economical. Owen and I found all 31 needed ingredients from the supermarket. Everything the checklist had called for. The guest list includes our loving father, Barry, his significantly younger fiancée, Susan, her two adopted twin daughters, Charlie and Riley, our sister, Jordan, Van and his wife, Christine, me and my boy, Owen, also, Candace and Thomas Keller Grayson III, their family friends. The feast is tomorrow. I have to do all final shopping now to begin cooking tonight at 11 p.m. This schedule will be my guide. A simple schedule would not suffice as timing is not the only factor that needs negotiating. This is the timing triangle to success. It illustrates the three handicaps of preparing the feast. Number one, oven space. Number two, stovetop space. Number three, multitaskability. This schedule provides for all three limitations. The x-axis representing the timing of what's to be prepared and when. The y-axis shows simultaneous preparatory engagements with exact considerations for the minimal oven space, stovetop space, and what items can be prepared at the same time as others. For example, in the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. block, the macaroni will be boiled, salad dressing made, and potatoes will be peeled, all while the turkey is baking in the oven. It's 4 a.m. It's time to get this bird in the oven. The culinary team included Casey, head chef. Candace, sous chef. Owen, special consult to the head chef slash garbage boy. In addition to the work in the kitchen, special consideration had to be made to ensure everyone's comfort while guests in my apartment. My 408 square foot apartment in 1 12th scale, one inch representing one foot. Starting in the southeast corner is my bathroom, bath, toilet, and sink. East of the bathroom is the kitchen, with sink, stove, and fridge. The entrance to the apartment is here, on the southeast side. A wall separates the kitchen from the living room, coffee table, and couch. The dining area contains an expandable table with two chairs. 
There are three additional folding chairs and a radiator to be used as a seat, and the bedroom. The kitchen is only accessible to the culinary team. Children will dine at the coffee table and stare at the television located here. The adults will sit at one of nine chairs at the dining table, reserving the desk for uncooperative children. The bedroom is completely off limits. Naturally, all of the cooking went perfectly to plan. 10 a.m. Macaroni was cooked, potatoes peeled, salad dressing made. 11 a.m. Potatoes boiled, carrots blanched, and strawberries sliced. 12 p.m. Turkey out of the oven, sweet potatoes in the oven, potatoes mashed, hors d'oeuvres served. Then the guests arrived. Happy Thanksgiving! Thomas Keller Grayson III, almost stepsister Charlie, Susan the fiance, our father Barry, our sister Jordan, Christine, my Canadian sister-in-law, and brother Van. It's 2.30, everything is done cooking. Mission accomplished. It's gonna be amazing. So I got that going for me, which is nice. Flying for free.